Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to be replacing the air conditioner and tensioner belt on a Chevy Trailblazer. Now this is with the 5.3 liter V8. So if you have any vehicles that utilize the GM 5.3 liter V8, whether it's the truck, SUV, whatever, same process should uh, be pretty much the same to do that. So don't get this confused with the main drive serpentine belt, which is located in front of it. And in a minute, we're going to head over here to the vehicle, and I'm going to show you. But the main drive serpentine belt, that's what goes around your alternator, your water pump, power steering pump, your belt tensioner, idler, pulley, all that. That one's in front. The one that we're talking about is the one behind it that goes around the air conditioning compressor and also the crankshaft pulley, and that's in the back. So that's the one that we're going to be replacing. So let's go ahead and get started. So coming in from the front, I've already removed the fan. I've also removed the main drive belt, but normally that would wrap around through this tensioner pulley here. It would go down towards the bottom here and it would wrap around the crankshaft pulley around the water pump. It would go down around the power steering pump, the alternator, the guide pulley, all that. If you wanna see the full video I did on how to remove it, replace it, you can check it out via the link above. Also have a link down in the description. But what we're talking about is this one down here on the bottom. That's your air conditioner and tensioner pulley. Let me go ahead and get a little bit closer here so I can show you what we're looking at here. So that's it. And it just it's a shorter belt now you do have a tensioner pulley right here which is how we're going to release it and you can see this belt's all cracked this is an older probably the original belt so it's definitely in need of coming off but to release this tensioner you have a quarter inch square opening where you can just feed in a, a ratchet or an extension with a ratchet in there release the tension pop it off put the new one on it's very easy and these are the items that you'll need to complete this You'll need your replacement belt. This particular one I purchased at Advance Auto, but you can get them at any auto parts store. You can get them online, but I'll put along the bottom how much I paid for it. You'll need a ratchet with an extension. I have a six inch extension here because that's what I had available, but you could even use a shorter one. You don't need a lot of, lot of extension on that to get in there just a little bit, but this is all that you'll need. Now, I've been doing a lot of work to this vehicle, so if you have a Chevy Trailblazer with the 5.3 liter V8 or any other GM-related vehicle with that engine, you may want to check out down in the description. I'll have links to everything that I've done to this vehicle and that I'm working on right now. So let's head in here. We have the extension on the ratchet. I'll show you where you connect it in, and then we're just going to crank it clockwise just to take that tensioner down, and then we can pull the belt off, feed the new one on, and then... Go ahead and let it go gently. It'll bring the tension back, and we're done. We'll bring this in and just feed it right in there. Right here, how that feeds in. Very simple. And then if we turn this clockwise, you'll see the tensioner goes down. When you let it go, it goes up. And you can see how the belt gets loose already. And then we can just slide it off, put the new one on. And then gently let it go back, and the tension will be back up. We're going to go ahead and release it. And you want to start here with the large pulley, the crankshaft pulley. It's easier if you just take it off the back and push it off the pulley towards the back. If you try to bring it forward, you might run into issues. Just kind of work with it. It's still kind of tight, even with the, the tensioner pushed back. So come on here. There we go. It's starting to come off. There it is. Then we can release that. The belt now will come off here. Just pull it off that way. And looking at this belt, it's a little bit frayed up on the ends. And uh, if you look here, it's got a lot of cracks in it. Normally, that's not abnormal to get cracks in that direction. You know, going against the threads, not with it. If you got them going with the thread, that's definitely a bad thing. But this way, the way that they are here, that's just part of age with that belt bending so much it cracks. But you definitely... I want to get rid of that, but look at that. Let's put the new one on. 
Here's the new belt. What I'm going to do is feed it over the large pulley first, but get it around to the back. I found that this works easier. Then we'll feed it around the tensioner and the smaller pulley like this. And once that's on, okay, which it is there, good. Then now we can take the tensioner, release the tension, and then slide it onto the large pulley from around the back. Okay, then we'll release the tension. And just slowly work it around. Next, we'll go ahead and let the tensioner go back. You can see here it's nice and firm. The tension's good. And then what I like to do is just kind of run my hand along the pulleys in the belt, make sure everything is in the right grooves and everything is set. And we're good. The belt is on. And everything has been checked. Looks good. You can see it wrapping around nicely around the um, crankshaft pulley. Nice and in the slot along the treads. Same there. Everything looks good. Okay, well this wraps up this video on how to replace the air conditioner and tensioner belt on a Chevy Trailblazer 5.3 liter V8. Please check out the other videos that I have down in the description. Uh, I have everything else pertaining to work that I've done on this vehicle, as well as the main drive serpentine belt. I show you how to remove that, replace that as well, where if you're doing this belt, you are going to have to dig through that part and then put that belt back on. So you will need to know how to do that if you don't already know how to do that. But this does wrap up this video. I hope that this video was informative for you. I hope it helps you out with any projects that you're working on. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to this channel as I'm constantly posting new content, and I'll see you next time.